Hello and welcome to Global Fishing Watch. In this video we're going to take a look at our encounters layer. It reveals where and when thousands of vessels are involved in close encounters at sea. Fishing boats and cargo vessels, known as reefers, often meet at sea in order to transfer seafood, crew, fuel or supplies. This is known as transshipment. It's illegal in some places and can provide a cover for illegal fishing. Here's the default map of global fishing activity. We can click and drag to move around the map, we can zoom in and out, and we can move through time. On the right of the screen is the toolbox, home to all the layers and tools that make up the platform. To turn on the Encounters layer, open the Activity Layers panel and click the slider next to Vessel Encounters. The slider will change colour to let you know that the layer is active. I'll also turn off the defaults to give us a clearer picture of the new layer. Each red circle with a dot in the centre is an encounter. We can click on any dot to find out more about the vessels involved in each encounter from the new encounters panel. The red is the fishing vessel, the purple is the refrigerated cargo vessel, or reefer. If one of those vessels piques our interest, we can choose to always display it on the map using the pin feature. Simply click on the name and then select the pin icon. Pin vessels are saved in the vessels panel of the toolbox. To show you just how powerful these features are, let's take a deeper look at a recent high profile case. In August 2017, a Chinese flagged reefer was caught crossing the protected waters of the Galapagos Islands. Aboard was a huge haul of illegally caught sharks. I know the name of the reefer, so I've used our powerful search feature to find it and pin it. We can see that it leaves the Chinese port of Fuzhou in July and travels across the Pacific for the next month. Then in early August, less than a week before crossing into the Galapagos, it stops as it encounters a fishing vessel. Actually, four fishing vessels, but we're only showing one here to keep the map nice and clear. Each one appears to come alongside the reefer and spends around 12 hours there, moving at a slow speed. That's enough time to potentially transfer a lot of cargo, and in this case could point to where the sharks came from. Of course, there's so much more you can do with our platform, and since it's free, the best way is to try it out for yourself. Visit globalfishingwatch.org and check out our other great videos on the tutorials page. Thank you for visiting Global Fishing Watch.